Hi everyone, it's Allison DeBardo Goggin, and today is our day two of BOGOs, and you get the free Digestin oil when you order the Terrazyme. And a lot of you are probably like, what the heck is Terrazyme? Why would I even need this? Why are they pairing it with Digestin? You weirdos just want me to take more supplements. And the truth is, is that Terrazyme is one of my favorite products. Um, because it helps the body heal itself and you're not dependent on the oils. So remember the goal with essential oils is not that you use every oil every day, cover up your symptoms and call it being healthy. The point is that you get to the source of your issues and you figure out what's going on. So let's talk about Terrazyme because I titled this The Truth About Acid Reflux. So acid reflux 90% of the time comes from you not having enough acid. So it's the exact opposite of what we have always thought that traditionally we think acid reflux, oh, you have too much acid in your stomach, you need to take Tums and you need to take um, acid suppressants and proton pump inhibitors and kill all the acid because you have too much. And that actually helps stop the acid from forming in your stomach, your symptoms get better. But the truth is, is that you're not supposed to be on this type of drugs for more than two weeks out of the year. And how many people do you know that have been on Nexium for years and years and years and then have kidney failure and all sorts of other issues? So that is not a healthy thing to do. Anytime you suppress a system in your body, especially digestion, it's going to show up in other places and it's going to cause a lot of issues, diseases, digestive problems. So the truth about acid reflux is that when you get stressed, your body goes into the fight or flight mode, right? The sympathetic system. And so we always talk about this. So the sympathetic stress, imagine that you're running from a bear. So if you're running from a bear, do you need to digest food? No, you don't need to digest food. Do you need to make babies? Nope, you don't care if you're gonna make a baby or what your hormones are doing. You need to get away from that bear. Now, in everyday life, technically we're not running from bears, but our bear could be sitting in traffic. Maybe you eat breakfast on the way to work. Maybe when you get home from dinner, you're stressed out and your spouse is driving you crazy. Oh, that's your bear and you're just so ramped up and you can't calm down. You can't digest your food because you don't have enough stomach acid. So what happens is that food sits in your stomach and it's hanging out because there's no stomach acid or very, very little and it doesn't know what to do. So the food sits there and it sits up against the lining of your stomach and it starts putrefying, it starts rotting, it starts dying, and it creates this nasty acid and gunk, essentially. And since your body doesn't want the food to go down because your small intestines are like, that is not what we're supposed to be doing, it has to go up. So it creates this acid, you start burping, heartburn. So what do you do? You take Tums or you take something to stop that acid because technically it's acid, but your food's not digested. So then it's hanging out and now you're sending the undigested food into your small intestines and they're like, what do we do with this? I have no idea. So now you're not getting nutrition. You're not getting, um, anything out of your food and it's sitting there and it's rotting and then it's creating gas and now you're bloated and you're sick and it's just this really vicious cycle. So you want to do the opposite of suppressing your symptoms. You want to support those systems and that is what Terrazyme does. So it's digestive enzymes and anytime that you look, when you look at the back, back of the bottle, it will say protease. Uh, amylase, lactase, lipase, anything that ends in an ASE is an enzyme. And those are enzymes that our body naturally makes, but sometimes it doesn't make enough of them. Sometimes we're so stressed out constantly that our body just kind of shuts down and we need some extra support. Sometimes you don't have a gallbladder and your liver is making all of this bile, but it's not timing up with when you eat food. So you always, if you don't have a gallbladder, you have to take some type of digestive enzyme every time you eat for the rest of your life, especially if it's fatty food, heavy food, meat, cheese, whatever that is, you need to take a digestive enzyme. So the Terrazyme also has betaine HCl, which is hydrochloric acid, which is what our stomach naturally makes. And again, that will help boost the natural hydrochloric acid 
and your system. It will help to retrain your stomach on how to make more. Um, and the other thing that it has in it is the anti-gluten enzyme blend. So what that does is it helps just break down the gluten, it helps protect your body if you're gluten sensitive or you think that you might be. So you can take Terrazyme every time you eat. When you eat a light meal, say it's like a salad or an apple, you can take maybe just one or two. Now, when we go out for beer and wings and pizza, those nights, I take three or four. When I was pregnant with my son, I took like four or five, some days I even took six because I was so sick from not digesting my food. Everything had slowed down so much. So it is totally up to you and how many you take. The more you take them, the more you'll realize how much your body needs and you might be able to go down to one or two. Um, and just keep taking it. And another trick that you can do if it doesn't work for you or maybe you start to feel um, nauseous because your body is actually digesting food and it doesn't know what to do with it yet, um, just play with it and when you time it. So you could take it before you eat, you could take it in the middle of your meal, or you could take it after your meal too. So that will help your body kind of um, switch up how it's digesting and how it's feeling and it will help with that as well. Now the other thing with digestive enzymes is that it supports your stomach, right? Because it has a hydrochloric acid in it. It's going to support your gallbladder because it has lipase. It's going to digest fat. It's going to support your pancreas because it has amylase, which is going to digest and break down carbs in a healthy way. Um, but then it's, once it gets into your small intestines, it's going to start breaking down food that has been in there from your entire life, right? Think of all the things that you haven't digested very well. So you may feel gassier or bloated for one or two days, but that is actually pretty rare. It's just gonna help your body move food so much easier. So heartburn, nausea, indigestion, um, all of those things are gonna be helped by terrazyme. So it's so much more than a digestive enzyme. It is, it's life, it's everything. And I carry this in my purse. And so my husband thought essential oils were stupid. Um, right, who, what guy doesn't think essential oils are stupid when they first hear them? Like, oh God, you hippie people. So he had severe acid reflux. Um, he worked 14 hour days. He did not get a lunch break. So if he packed food, he got to eat it. If he didn't pack food, and we had, Jakey was just born. So stress was off the roof. We weren't sleeping. Uh, so if someone brought at McDonald's or some fast food, like that was a good day because at least he got to eat while he was talking to customers and just kind of powered through it. So by the time he got home, he was exhausted. He wasn't digesting food. Honestly, we were eating crap because we could not afford to eat healthy. So it was like, oh, what do you want to do, mac and cheese? Like that was it. So he was eating Tums after Tums after Tums after Tums. And one night he ran out and he was gonna to go to the store. It's like, it's like one o'clock in the morning. You can't go to the store to go get Tums. That's ridiculous. So I was like, go get that Digestion oil. It's like, ah, oh, this stuff doesn't work. I'm like, oh, okay, sure, sure that doesn't work. Go get it. Oh, what do I do with it? I'm like, seriously, just want, rub one or two drops on your belly and come back. Oh, you're right, you know the story. And so he left and he put the oils on his belly and he came back like two minutes later. He's like, okay. I guess it worked. I'm like, I know! Can you imagine that? So now he takes digestive enzyme every time he eats. He also takes them when he has severe acid reflux. Not even severe, but you know, moderate acid reflux. So even if he hasn't eaten, but he's still having symptoms, you can take the terrazyme. So if it's in the middle of the day and you're at work and it's three o'clock in the afternoon and you're having acid reflux still, take the terrazyme. Just take one, maybe two. Um, it's okay to take more. The terrazyme as uh, digestive enzymes are awesome at protecting um, bones and ligaments as well. So I wouldn't consider it something that you should take without food unless you're having symptoms, whether acid reflux or bloating, constipation, because the food's just so jammed up inside of your body. Um, but you can take it when you're having symptoms. Don't be afraid because it's going to support your body where Tums and the OTC medications are going to suppress your body. Never suppress a symptom. Never take a pill that stops your digestion because you will stop absorbing nutrition. Your body will not make energy. Anytime I see someone holding up their 
fat fighters bottle and it's like I, I'm not gonna digest my carbs it's gonna block fat are you kidding me your body needs those things stop eating crap so the biggest thing Jake had to do was change his diet I did too so figuring out what his body was reacting to which was wheat and um, switching to organic made a huge difference and a couple other foods were upsetting him and obviously stress so getting the stress down using the oils for uh, emotional balancing sleep and everything else will help restart that sympathetic system and help it relax a little bit. Take the Terrazyme. Terrazyme is everything. Terrazyme is life. Eating is life. Food is life. Nutrition is everything. Digest your food. Don't fight it. Don't block it. Don't take Tums. And Tums has, um, what do they say, calcium in it, right? And you can take Tums as a calcium supplement. That is a lie. You cannot. Why? Because you need a high amount of stomach acid to digest, break down, and absorb calcium. So basically, you're taking a pill that blocks your acid in your stomach that contains a chemical like calcium that needs a lot of acid. So it's pointless. You're, you're getting absolutely nothing out of it, not to mention the aluminum and the heavy metals that are inside of Tums that are going to harm your body. And then that calcium that they're putting in it comes from limestone. So I always tell people, if you're the kind of human who can eat limestone to pull nutrition out of it, go for it. Save your money, go out in the driveway, pick up a couple rocks, chew them down, you're good to go. But if you're not the kind of human who can eat limestone and chemicals and pull nutrition out of them, I would suggest a whole food multivitamin, like our Lifelong Vitality Pack, like our Terrazyme. So we have all those things for you. I get really excited about digestion and poop, you guys know that. So. Um, now let's talk about, oh, so if you have those types of supplements, if you have calcium carbonate supplements, feed them to your plants. So make a little garden, put all those pills in your, your garden because your, that's where plants get their nutrition from is rocks and then they turn it into calcium lactate. So when we eat it, we can digest it and absorb it. That's a whole nother story. We need to go into gardening. Okay, let's talk about digestion oil really quick. This is, this comes everywhere with me. It is in my little kit. It, it does everything digestive. And so oils are aptogenic, which means adaptogenic, I'm sorry, which means that no matter where you are, they bring your body back into balance. So someone told me that oils have innate intelligence and they just know what to, no, oils are not alive. They do not have little fairies living in the molecules going, what does Allison need today? Well, we just innately no. They're they're an herb. They're part of a plant. They're adaptogenic. It's a legitimate scientific field of study with these types of um, plants. So digest them will bring your body back into balance. If you have constipation or diarrhea, it will it will bring you back into balance. So how many things can you take that you can put directly on your belly that will work for constipation and diarrhea? So the way you can use this oil is a few ways. You can do what I did, which was put a drop under your tongue because you have such severe acid reflux when you're pregnant and then immediately regret that decision. I don't recommend it. I think it tastes pretty gross. You can put it in your water. A lot of people will do that in a glass water bottle and drink it throughout the day. That's not too bad. Um, if you have um, chronic long-term digestive issues, then that would probably be the best idea for you. Now, if you're like me and you can't stand the way that it tastes, you can put it directly on your belly. And that's my favorite way to use it, is that I just put a couple drops on, I rub it in, I'm good to go. So actually when it, it we do go out to like Buffalo Wild Wings, which is our favorite restaurant, I bring the terrazyme. I usually take like three or four at dinner and I put the oil on my belly as we're driving home. Like, oh, that was so good. It was so worth it. So the other thing you could do is use the veggie caps, which are, these are from doTERRA. They're like $4 and you get 160 capsules. This is an amazing deal. They last forever. And so what it is, is an empty capsule and then it easily comes apart. So you fill up the capsule with oil. Usually depending on what blend I'm doing, if I'm just doing just the digest then, I'll do like three drops. Don't fill it all the way to the top. That's not necessary. So three drops. And then you can add other oils to it. So add wild orange is great for helping with gas. Um, 
acid reflux gas, uh, intestinal gas as well. Um, and then you can cap it. With these, don't push, don't push too hard because then it will break. And then you'll be sad and have to start over. Um, but cap it and then swallow it like a regular capsule. It's super easy. I make a ton of these on my own um, because I like to make my own things. I know what my body likes. Or I do a scan and I figure out, oh, I need digestive, but I need extra fennel and I need more lemon and usually uh, like grapefruit or something like that. So that would be a great way to add in um, the oils, take them internally. So with the digestion, it has um, ginger, caraway, coriander, anise, tarragon, fennel, and peppermint. So it does have peppermint. Peppermint is great for long-term um, healing. I said it. I said the H word, healing. Um, so if you're dealing with day-to-day -day stuff, like I know when I eat McDonald's, I'm going to be sick. Okay, so you're going to take three or four terazibes and you're going to take um, the digest and put it on your belly. Now, if every day you're dealing with IBS symptoms, um, you can't get your constipation under control, you're going to take the terazine, but I would strongly suggest using the digest and pick away, but every day, rubbing it on your belly, putting one or two drops in your water, making your own veggie cap, something that will help your body uh, start to heal back up, tighten up those uh, junctions in the large intestines and the small intestines, which is what leaky gut is, which means that the cells in your intestines should be nice and lined up and with inflammation and undigested food and infections that they tight, they start to loosen up. And then food particles, um, bacteria, viruses, fungus, immune cells get back out into our bloodstream. Our immune system sees that and goes, <gasps> oh my gosh, it's chicken, or whatever food that you might be sensitive to, attack it, and it starts creating these antibodies that cause inflammation, food sensitivities, autoimmune reactions. And so the goal is to get those to tighten back up again. Terrazyme, peppermint, digestin will help that. It was not the end-all cure-all, but it will get you on the right road. So, oh, you know what else is a fun use for digestin Is to put it on the bridge of your nose because anything that's mucusy or stuffy, like sinuses, you could put it on the bridge of your nose. And then I do lime here on my, above my lip to help break everything up. Lime's another good mucus breaker upper. So combine your digestion with the lime. And I'm sure in a capsule, that would be awesome for colitis, especially mucus colitis. Um, Oh, Chrissy used that trick too. Is I don't like the smell of digestion, and that's okay. It's not something you're going to put in the diffuser. It's going to be something that you you keep on hand. It's awesome for babies. Most people call it Insta poop, right? Because you put it on, and then you better hope that the bathroom's nearby, especially if you're having issues. Um, with Jacob, baby Jake, when he was born, we would dilute it and put it on his belly, and literally within 30 seconds he would let out the loudest grossest fart ever and then he would be good for a few hours um until i got off of dairy and gluten and all the fun foods that i was eating while i was breastfeeding him so um i hope this was helpful for you if you want in on the bogo just let me know and i will get you added to our group order and i'm giving away the veggie caps for my group um if you order today so thanks guys have a great day